What is going on everyone? Rice Media Official here, back again for another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download Cam's graphics. Now, with this install video, we will be installing the May edition. However, every install process for Cam's graphics remains the same. So you can follow this video regardless of what edition you are installing. So let's go ahead and hop into it now and I'll show you guys how to install Cam's graphics. Now, first thing we have open is our May pack. However, there are a couple steps of process that you need to do to set up your game and set up your files to make your installation process easier. First thing we're gonna do is go into Google Chrome or your preferred browser of choice, and you're gonna go to reshade.me. This is your reshade download. You're gonna go ahead and press download and you're gonna do the full add-on support version. All right, once that file is downloaded, you can go ahead and close out of your browser. Now in your downloads, you're gonna go ahead and find your reshade download. So for me personally, I have a setup drivers folder to keep my stuff organized and I have all my setup drivers in case I ever need to uninstall or reinstall anything. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my reshade setup underscore 6.3.3 open. I'm gonna minimize that and go back into your downloads. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open my cams graphics may pack and keep that open for further use. Next thing is hit your windows button and search up your 5M. From here, you can right click, open file location, and you're gonna do it one more time here, open file location, and it's gonna bring you to a 5M application data folder. Now you wanna take this and bring it into your quick access. Having this pinned in your quick access makes your future graphics installation a lot easier. So I like to have it in my quick access so I can easily navigate it if I am ever changing out anything about my graphics or replacing my pack completely. Next step is you're going to go into Steam. You're going to go ahead to your Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy, right click it, manage and browse local files. You want to keep this open as well. This is also where you're going to be installing some of your ENB files. Now for this, you can go ahead and do the same exact thing. You're going to go back to common, drag it over and pin to quick access. There you go. Now it's pinned and you have both your 5M application data and your main GTA 5 directory ready for when you drag your files in. So we're going to go ahead and close out of Steam. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to set up our folders in a three block uh, setup. So we're going to go ahead and go to this one. Grand Theft Auto 5 goes there. 5 map application, explore here, and Cam's graphics. Cool. Now you have all your folders set up for an ease of installation process. You're going to go to your 5 map application data. You're going to go ahead and go into your plugins. This is where all of your ENB and main game files are going to go. Now you're gonna go into your graphics folder, Cam's graphics may pack, and you're required and step one. Now, as you can see, you have all your ENB files. Now, where do they go? You're gonna go into your plugins folder and you're gonna go ahead and select all and drag and drop into your plugins. And boom, you have all of your stuff installed, ENB and all of your ENB files. You're also gonna go ahead and drag that into your main GTA 5 directory. 5M, obviously, since it's a mod for GTA 5, works in conjunction with the main GTA files. So you're going to go ahead and go back, go to your D3D, select all, and do the same thing. Drag into your main GTA 5 directory, replace as needed, and your 5M plugins, replace as needed. Now we're going to go into 5M mods. Now, you're not going to bring it into your GTA 5 directory or your plugins folder. It's a completely different folder. Go back to your main 5M application data and go into your mods folder, and this is where it's going to drop. Now, these files, I don't know exactly what they do. Um, but the one file that I think you are going to mainly want to install is your core. I believe these are the core like cams, graphics, mods files. So if you don't want ragdoll, street lights, or backfire, you don't have to do that. But I I'm pretty sure, Cam, correct me if I'm wrong when you're watching this video, that core is the main cams, graphics, core files that you need to have in your game. So once those are dragged into your mods folder, you can go ahead and double check. You can go scroll down, cams, graphics, more, uh, ragdoll, street lights, cool. All that stuff is put in. Now you're going to go to reshade. Now, Reshade is a interesting installation process. We'll go into that in a second here, but I'm just going to drag and drop that back into my 5M application data plugins. So now I have Reshade for Cam's graphics installed into my 5M files. All right, now we're going to go ahead and navigate all the way back into Cam's graphics to the mods optionals. Now here you have a bunch of different optional effects that you can put into your game to improve the quality of it. Now to install these, you're going to go back to your 5M application data and you're going to go into your mods folder. In here are all the mods that you're going to install. So immersive weapon effects, you have your handed grip for the pistol. You can put those in. Backfire, fire overall, California plates, better textures, darker nights, brighter nights, vehicle dirt, vehicle raindrops, and ENB presets. For ENB presets, if you have a lower quality PC and you need the normal settings, you can go ahead and put that in. But I'm going to go through, I'm going to choose what I want and put those in real quick. 
Now we're going to go into the installation process of actually installing Reshade. Now go into your setup drivers folder, wherever you have your install. You're going to go into Reshade setup. You're going to hit browse. Now it should bring you into your 5M application data folder or your local 5M. However, if it doesn't, you can go into your quick access, just like I said, ease the process for installation. It's going to bring you to 5M application data. You're going to go ahead and go back to 5M and it should bring you right to here. You're going to select on 5M, hit open, and it's going to take you to that directory. Then you click next. You're going to go to DirectX 11. Go ahead, click next. You have all these different effects for reshade. You're going to make sure you uncheck them and check them all so they all install because you do need these for reshade. You're going to hit next. It's going to download all the files and then put them into your reshade. And we'll go ahead and come back once this is done. This should take anywhere from one to two minutes. Alrighty, so our reshade has just finished for our 5M. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat that process for the main GTA 5 directory because there are some folders that you do need to drag over into your 5M application data. So I'm going to go into my downloads once again, scroll down until I have my reshade set up, and you're going to do it for your main GTA 5 directory, DirectX 11. You're going to update reshade and effects, uncheck all, check, boom. Now you're going to wait for it to install to your main GTA 5 directory. Alrighty, so our reshade has finally successfully finished downloading. We're going to go ahead and press finish and we're going to go ahead and go back to our main GTA 5 directory. Now, once we have our main GTA 5 directory open, we're going to go ahead and go back into our 5M application data because we need to drag it over into our plugins. We're going to go ahead and open these two here, 5M application data. Cool. Now we're going to go ahead and find the reshade shaders folder. You're going to go ahead and put this into your plugins and this is where all the effects are going to be now we can go ahead and close out hop in a game and let's see if it works all right so we just opened our 5m there's a bunch of errors at the top but you can ignore those they don't affect your game or your graphics in any way first thing we're going to do is press f8 and we're going to go ahead and view this your add-ons reshade 5 id d3d whatever you go ahead and take a screenshot of that and you're going to open it on another monitor or a side thing because this needs to go into a certain folder in your 5m i'm going to screenshot that and have it open and now i can go ahead and close my 5m so i'm going to go ahead and open that screenshot and put it on another monitor just so i have it ready next you're going to go ahead and open up your 5m application data once again go until you see citizen fx and it's going to open up a notepad file so when you see all this this is your citizen fx file go ahead and take that exact screenshot that you took you can copy all this or copy it back down i'll leave it linked in the description as well keep in mind the id is going to be different for everyone's game you just need to retype it in past the id part i have mine copied already so i'm just going to copy it and place it in a new line and press file and save. Now your reshade should work 100%. Let's go ahead and go back to the game and let's make sure that it opens. Alrighty, we're loading in. As you can see, reshade is updating. Give it a little bit to update and load all the effects. Alrighty, now all the effects have updated. We're gonna go ahead and press home. That's the default keybind for the reshade. Now all of your reshade is ready to open. We're going to go ahead and hop into server and let's set this up. Alrighty, now we are successfully in game and it looks like our game has changed. So we're going to go ahead and hit shift enter just to test that our ENB works. Amazing. You have the ENB menu. You've done your ENB correctly. Now we're going to press home. Cool. Reshade opens. You've installed your reshade correctly. Now setting up your reshade for camps graphics, it does come with stuff automatically set up. However, you can go ahead and go through your game files and disable and enable whatever you want. However, I like to keep mine already set up with the stuff that has been pre-enabled. You can also do colorfulness. That's the one that I like to use. Or if you're taking photos, you can turn on your adaptive depth of field. But these are the ones that are enabled. And I like to keep them the same way they are. Let's go ahead and hop into a vehicle real quick. And I'll show you what your lights should look like. As you can see, your lights are pretty bright. If you want to change those, you can go into your in-game settings and change your post effects. But you could also go into your vehicle settings expand that menu and you can turn it up to whatever you want so as you can see these are what they look like on 10 they are brighter and you do have that lens flare coming out of them let's go ahead and go into our settings in game and as you can see my graphics are set up to a high very high setup you can adjust these as you see fit but these are what i like to keep mine at 
You can also change them to very high and your shadows will go up in quality and be more smooth. As you can see, I am having pretty decent uh, specs and performance with Cam's graphics. I'm recording an OBS video with my settings at high and very high, and I'm getting a solid 60 frames fluctuating anywhere from 50 to 60. But this is what Cam's graphics looks like. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let me know if you have any comments down below or questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.